Mary Picture Show. IDOS Interactive has announced a release date for the next instalment of their long-running Tomb Raider series of games. Tomb Raider Legend has been developed for the Xbox 360 and will feature a newly created graphic system. The graphical upgrades will be evident in almost all visual elements of the game, affecting lighting, shadows and even yielding realistic signs of environment on Lara herself as she gets wet or dirty in her adventuring. Tomb Raider Legend is the seventh game in the franchise and is slated to hit stands on the 11th of April. This week, Sony announced their intentions to redesign the controller for their upcoming PS3 console. Much criticism was raised by the gaming community when the first conceptual design of the controller was revealed to be an awkward boomerang-shaped device. Many gamers looking forward to the next generation console felt that the controller would be the most disappointing aspect of the new system. Sony intends to have the new controller available for unveiling at this year's E3. NetDevil and NCSoft's upcoming highly anticipated vehicle-based MMORPG game, Auto Assault, has gone gold. Auto Assault players choose to play as one of the factions, mutant, biomech or human, and traverse a post-apocalyptic landscape in personalised vehicles, competing in fast-paced combat, fighting for resources and destroying the landscape. Characters can own many vehicles and the game even provides opportunities for player versus player combat. A NetDevil spokesman declared that while the company was very excited about the upcoming launch, it was only the start of big things for Auto Assault. It is their intent to provide free content expansions and to grow the MMORPG's gaming world. A press release from NCSoft made the announcement of the game's gold status and specified an April 13th release date. Electronic Arts and developer Digital Illusions announced that the next game in their popular War Combat Battlefield series would make a leap away from modern combat simulation to the futuristic battlefields of the 22nd century. The game, which is titled Battlefield 2142, is set after the onset of a new Ice Age and features two remaining world military superpowers duking it out in a battle over the last scraps of land. The game will have a vast array of completely new weapons and technology, and gamers will be able to compete online as members of either the European Union or as the newly formed Pan-Asian Coalition. This week Lionhead released a promotional trailer for their upcoming expansion pack to their popular movie-making sim game, The Movies. Yay. This expansion, titled The Movies, Stunts and Effects, will be the first of its kind for the game and will introduce new props, backdrops and effects, as well as stunts, stuntmen and added functionality to the game's advanced movie making mode. The expansion pack will allow players greater opportunities to bring their animated digital creations to life. The Movies, Stunts and Effects is scheduled to be released in the spring of 2006 and will require that players already have the full version of The Movies installed. Gaming PC manufacturer Alienware announced this week that they had been acquired by Dell. Alienware, which prides itself on its innovation, edginess and even irreverence, has stated that they intend to keep their image and reputation and that the acquisition by Dell will not affect their business practices and that the subsidiary will function independent of the larger corporation. The founders feel that the company will be able to grow and improve with the help of Dell. I've been Lady Mainframe bringing you this week's gaming news. Thank <laughs> you.